Bravo Company Manufacturing. BCM, you've probably heard of them. Best way to describe them is they're like the Ford F-150 of rifles, right? Well, my new gun is made just by them. I like this company a lot. I didn't know much about it when I got this gun, but after doing a little research, you know, I found out that it's founded by a Marine, which is very cool. Uh, they've worked on projects with Haley, Travis Haley, which I think is also very cool. And, you know, they make great furniture for rifles, which Springfield has used some of their furniture and a few other companies have also used their furniture, but they also make complete uppers and lowers. And that's what I have here. It's a complete upper and a complete lower I got from BCM. And this rifle is pretty great. I shot it at the range with Braden just the other day. I quite liked it. So let me take you through this build piece by piece so that if you want to replicate it, which you probably can, and you want to have the same results that I had, you can do just that. I decided on going with the Mark II set, if you will. Now they don't sell like complete rifle builds on their site from what I can tell. It's not like you can just buy this all together. You have to buy completed upper and completed lower separately from what I can see. So. I went with the non-storage wide body butt stock. I recommend it. Cheek well is really nice. Uh, this is called the Mark II. And then I went with the ultra lightweight rail that they have. Those two things I think are the most important components for you to get on your rifle. I wouldn't do any of the other ones in my opinion. Um, I went and checked out the, the Mark I and I think it's called the Mark Zero. And they're comfy, but I just think this one's the best. So that's what I would go with on that. The charging handle on this BCM kind of annoyed me at first. Okay, the charging handle is lopsided. There's nothing on this side, but there is something on this. It's not ambi, like I thought I was gonna hate that. Um, but I actually quite like it now. Uh, I think it slims up the rifle a little bit. And even though the body side is still towards you when it's, you know, slung, this side feels a little more slick and high speed. I don't know, I'm, I'm still, forming a great opinion on it. But my first impression is, uh, that looks nasty. And then my second impression after using it I was like, eh, kind of handy. So don't write off the charging handle just yet. As far as sling, this sling is the Sentry Strap uh, Scout Sling line. Got the Sentry Strap on here as well. Um, is a sling. I think that slings are important, but I don't do a lot of long range hiking with my rifle. So, Thickness wasn't really a factor for me. I just wanted something very thin, streamlined. This pad is really nice. I like having a pad on my gun. Okay, uh, all the other furniture is BCM on this gun. So, you know, the vertical grip, I kept the BCM vertical grip. And then these like, I don't know what to call these. I, I feel like rail scales is a proprietary name, but these covers here uh, for the, the, the rail, I quite like a lot. They're grippy. They have a little texture to them. Um, I did add a couple individual covers here from SLR Rifle Works. Uh, That's off my old gun. I just wanted to fill in some of the void uh, and not chop these down low. For this optic, this is a Vortex. Um, it's called the Spark Solar. And I went with the solar. I like having a solar dot. I used to have just a regular CR32 powered dot and my only complaint with it is it always died the worst possible time. The middle of a class, uh, I gotta change this thing out. And when you change out a lot of these, this one is not the same as all the others because this has a side battery port. But for the other Hollow Sun that I had, I had to remove the actual optic to change the battery, which I thought was stupid. Uh, one thing I did discover about this spark is that the caps, I took it off because I thought, oh, that's gonna get in the way. But they actually have this cool feature where they fold up and snap into each other on the battery cover. It, it's out of the way, it doesn't bother me, so I like it. All right, moving down, you know, we've talked about these scales already, but I wanna talk about, I think if I put it here, you can see it. I wanna talk about this light. Now, this is a cloud defensive light. I've had nothing but good uh, experiences with cloud, clouds people. Uh, one thing I will say about, you know, their American made lights are like, awesome bomb proof the one that they ordered from i think it called the chikro it's not my favorite i wouldn't bother with it 
um, but these these are incredible it seems like you're either really for cloud defensive or you're really against cloud defensive i'm really for them i think that their stuff is expensive and quality and they seem to have really great customer service so that's all you can say about a light it's either really good or really bad and like this has the lumens it has the really really tight hot spot that's all i can ask for a light and then lastly i have my form one homemade suppressor being able to make your own suppressor gives you a lot of affordability and options that you couldn't maybe get if you bought like a kit or you spent the extra time like to wait for your tax stamp and then this took me a month to get a tax stamp to build this suppressor and so you can basically build everything from here up except for poking a hole in each of the baffles and once you get your tax stamp you just take them and we milled them I say we, I milled them um, with the help of a machinist and then poked the holes in it and now it's a suppressor. The great part about this is that because I built every component of this, I can rebuild every component of this if something gets damaged, right? And that's important because if you have one suppressor, it's nice to be able to fix it. Now, I think there is a component on this that you're not supposed to be able to swap out and I'm pretty sure it's the laser component, which is going to be this outside shell but the end caps and all the baffles in between you can always rebuild so yeah that's my bcm rifle i have very little experience with it at the moment because i've only shot it twice um but my first look this is going to be a sweet build i have some things i do want to change but i'm just enjoying it in its current fashion at the moment one starting from here i think i would like to uh, put a sock on this. I, I like the socks. Brayden has one of his rifle and they're I think they're comfy and they're nice to be able to attach stuff too. I, I'm thinking about replacing the charging handle. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm still uncertain about it. It's not bad, um, but I think having something full ambidextrous is nice to have. I will say um, I'm still undecided about the charging handle. And then optics right now i'm running a red dot and more and more often i find myself in need of further magnification i'm considering going to something that's just permanently 1x or permanently 2x or 3x like a trijicon uh what is that a a cog like a trijicon a cog i'm considering doing that or i'm considering doing like a one by six or one by four or just having a flip up magnifier but i'd like to do something with my optic i feel a little under capable in terms of my vision as opposed to the rifle i also need to get a laser for this gun and i'd like to get either a mount that goes up here and allows me to mount my laser just above my light so that not all of my weight's out here, because with a suppressor and a flashlight, it's kind of getting heavy. Now, right here, I'd love to mount the box and have the optic right above it. I think that that would work well for me. And then lastly, um, down here at the very end, I'm gonna try and machine this tip here, have um, some kind of a brake system at the end of it. And the reason why I'd like to do that is I feel that whenever I put my gun down, sometimes the tip does go straight down. I'm quite concerned about getting something lodged in the, the hole here. So having something to kind of space that off, I think it's just nice for a suppressor. Um, it's probably just a mental thing for me, but that's just what I'm trying out. And then lastly, I'm thinking about swapping out this sling to a lunar concept. If you've enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, or don't, I don't care. I'm just trying to make good content and show you some of my cool guns. We got a lot more coming and I think you're gonna wanna follow along.